having everything come pre-set for me with a schedule is basically priceless. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be showing you guys the curriculum that I'm using for my first grader for this year. I'm going to show you a few of the books as well, so stick around to the end to see the books I'm reading to him out loud this year, which I'm super excited about. So originally I hadn't planned to do a video about what I was doing for first grade because I made a video about what I was doing for third grade, which I'll put right up there. However, I realized that just because you saw what I was doing for my third grader didn't mean that you would necessarily um, need that for your first grader. So I decided to make a video showing you what I'm doing for my first grader this year. The very first thing I am doing is I use sunlight and it gives me everything I need in one big wonderful package. So um, I'm a busy mom. I work and I've got four children and I'm just I'm busy. I think a lot of people are and having everything come pre-set for me with a schedule is basically priceless. <laughs> So I use sunlight. Over the years, I have found other things that I add on as well. So I'll show you those too. But sunlight is my basic core foundation for everything I do. You can see their schedule right here. It's really well displayed. I write their initial when they have completed their task. So I use the same guide for my third grader, my now third grader as I am for my first grader. So now she started with an R and he's with, starting with an S. So that way I can again use it for my kindergartner and I can write his initial as well so that I can see who all has completed their assignment. And there's also this, this is the language arts. Um, so we've got on this side we have history, Bible and literature and here we've got language arts. I'm showing you guys this. Now I'm gonna show you all the things that are like incorporated in this. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is reading because I think that when you have a child in first grade, reading is pretty essential. It's like kind of one of the main topics, I would say. So what I have used to teach my kids reading is actually this beautiful, um, amazing, so well-loved book and it's called Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. I love this book. I taught my now seventh grader to read with it and my third grader to read with it and now I'm teaching my first grader to read with it. Sunlight has a great program but I just found that my kids did not connect with it as well as they connected with this book which teaches sounds as you need to know them. See it's also well loved on the inside and, and it, so it's teaching it phonetically and I think this is really good. It works for my kids. There's lots of rhyming and um, reiterating what they're being taught. So definitely recommend this book. I like Sunlight's reading program I, and I use their literature, their language arts for copy work and stories and grammar. However, I just found that for reading in particular, this book seems to suit our family a little bit better. So the whole Sunlight core package, it comes with handwriting without tears booklets. So we use these for his handwriting and he can color in them as well. So we do these on a daily basis. And it also comes with um, your language arts book. Sunlight has the language arts. We're doing the four day activity because I found that they also had optional pages. I don't feel like my first grader needs a five day program. Every day we do a little bit of history. And right now we're doing world history. That's what Sunlight does for first grade is core B for history. And some, these are all books that we've already started reading. Sunlight has it where some books you read quickly, like in one week, like we read Tut's Tomb um, or Tut's Mummy, sorry, in one week, just like a few days. You can see it's pretty small. And this was quickly, we went through it. However, um, this one we read like a chapter or two a week and this one we read about four pages a day. If you've never seen this Osborne book of world history, it's really incredible. My son pulls this out and looks at it all the time just for fun because it's really beautiful and interesting graphics. So I definitely recommend this book and yeah, it kind of breaks up your day just having all the different books. It sounds like a lot I feel like, but it's really not that much once you're doing it. So this goes with our history and geography. This is kind of fun. Um, it's Kate, she's a Wycliffe missionary 
and I like it because it's taking the kids on a journey around the world. And if you've also watched any of my videos, you probably see I have a thing for geography. I like showing the kids where in the world things are happening as we have lived in multiple places and I have family around the world. So I like to show the kids and this book is really good at that and it just teaches a little bit about the different places and languages. For math, we use Singapore. Some of the things I like about Singapore is that it teaches a lot of mental math and that's something I didn't really fully understand as a child and so I like that it's being taught because it definitely seems to be something that's sticking. So I really like Singapore and I really recommend the program. Another thing we do, um, kind of some extras I would say on to just the regular reading, writing math, is I have Wordly Wise for vocabulary. Um, I just think it's good for them to get extra vocabulary and again it's pretty basic like you can see uh, I help him fill out the words in here because he's not going to be able to spell all these words but knowing what the words mean is the point of the Wordly Wise vocabulary. So I do recommend this too, it's really good and it's kind of fun too. I'm doing all about spelling for our spelling program. So right now, he's not spelling complicated words, right? However, it gets um, progressively harder and my son, my older son, learned way better with this spelling than with the spelling that comes in Sunlight's um, program. They have spelling words and I just have found that all about spelling taught it in a way that was a little bit more hands-on. You're, you're moving the little... Um, square tiles, you're moving little square tiles and you're building words with square tiles and I think it just helps your brain to like pull the sounds together. Um, so I, I do like All About Spelling better than a lot of the other spelling programs out there. Again, this sounds like a lot of stuff but it, we do go through it kind of like throughout the day and you know he gets breaks when I'm working with my other kids. He is a older first grader, so his birthday is in October so he just turned seven and so he is, he's able to work at this. I, I feel like it's more at his level. Um, I know that a lot of parents these days are kind of holding their kids back so that they can start later because they seem to do better starting at a later date. I, I don't know, for all children. But it does seem to be helping my son um, to be able to be starting first grade and be a little bit older. I think he's able to grasp it a little bit faster, which is nice as the mom. I have these extra notebooks and what I use this for are his, I haven't practiced writing stuff in there sometimes, but I also use it for all of his stories. So Sunlight has dictation stories. So where he tells me the story and I write it out for him. These are so much fun. He loves it. And they often have story starter pictures. So we have two more things. I've got science and then a read aloud. I'm gonna get through them fast so you guys can see what we're doing. Okay, the very first thing is sunlight science. I love their science program. It's really fun and it's really um, engaging. So right now we're doing animals. We're gonna go through this whole book and I'm gonna show you guys. When I order school for multiple children, um, I get extras, I get duplicates. So it comes like this and I turn it into this. I go to like the US post office or UPS store and have them bind it for me. It's really cheap. I want to say three to four dollars and you can have it binded and then it just makes it easier and it's got this nice plastic cover. So he um, gets to work through. It's got really pretty graphics. You can see in this one we were reading about the Andes Mountains, rainforest, the Amazon, and grasslands, and he actually got to cut these out and glue them into the proper category. So, you know, that first graders, they get so much fun. Like, you just wanna do lots of hands-on things and crafting and coloring, anything like that. So, that's one of the cool things that Sunlight does is a lot of those, a lot of cutting out um, the things and putting them in there. And then they have science activities and so every single week we have a science experiment and so that's also another fun thing that we get to do every week. And next we have the read alouds which are probably my favorite part of the day. We have already read through Charlotte's Web and Homer Price, both such fun stories, Charlotte's Web is such a classic. Um, although this time was funny because we looked at all the pictures and we enjoyed Templeton's dialogue and then um, I thought the kids would want to watch the movie afterward, which can be a fun reward, but they actually were fine just talking about the book. And then Homer Price is hilarious. If you've never read Homer Price um, by Robert McClowski or McClowski, 
Kripke. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but if you never read Homer Price, it's just packed full of funny stories, um, and this has been really fun. This story of George Mueller is, I wouldn't say this is a funny book, but it is a good book. It's really deep. Um, I've read a couple books from this Christian Heroes Then and Now series, and they've all been really, really interesting. I, we haven't read this book yet this year because we're only on week like six, but um, I really enjoyed this story when I read it to my other kids, so I'm excited to go through this with him again. I want my kids to be aware and I want them to um, have heroes of people that have done incredible and really selfless things. And George Mueller was one of those people, you know, Mother Teresa, who we also read about later on. Um, these are people that I really, I think it's great to have in my kids' life that they can read their stories and um, and follow them from a young age. Owls in the Family, this is just a cute, short, fun little story about a boy with, I think he has like three to five pet owls at any given time, I forget, but it's a fun, cute little story. We haven't read it yet this year, I'm remembering from previous years. Recommend this one. Farley, let's see, Farley Milat. Can't wait to get to this book this year, The Year of Miss Agnes. Um, it is so, so precious. A school teacher comes to teach at a school in Alaska and basically just opens the children's eyes up to a whole world outside of Alaska. Um, this is a really fun read and I think there might be more to it, like more, like a sequel. Uh, if there is, I'll put a link for it below so you guys can see it because I definitely recommend this book. Okay, Goonie Bird Green. <laughs> this book is hilarious. She is so silly. It, it's really a lot of laughs, just she's always got a crazy story and it's really enjoyable. So this is a good one. We haven't read it yet. I'm excited to get there. And last but not least is Greek myths. Um, I think I've mentioned in other videos, I'm sure I have actually, that my kids enjoy Greek mythology and they really do. The stories are so funny and so far out there. The other day I told my son to read to uh, his little brother and this is the book he got because he wanted to read to him the story. They just really, really enjoy all of the stories and the pretty, pretty graphics. And it's another Osborne book. So that's what I have for you guys today. If you're enjoying my video, don't forget to like and subscribe and push the notification bell so that you get notified every single time a new video comes out. I would love to have you here for the next one.